It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Detroit Lions and the Baltimore Ravens. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Autumn has arrived in the Mid-Atlantic region of the U.S. and it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But Charles, this Ravens team been so successful in recent years, 10 or more wins in four of the last five seasons. What do they need to do to take that next step? Well, the way the Ravens have played for a lot of their franchise history, we know the defense is gonna take care of business. They're gonna keep you in every ball game. I think on offense, can they throw the ball more proficiently, especially out wide to the receivers and make plays that way to continue to open up running lanes for a team that we know loves to move the ball along the ground. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're gonna be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here. And under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns and led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Goff. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Throwing again is gone. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. Now gone toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. 
That one ended up incomplete. The seventh play now, this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Goff now looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. And the Ravens taking the field. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll strike the drive at the 43. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. you back in a good situation here's third and three from midfield now here's Jackson able to find the open man that's complete and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30 excellent play there on third down give him 25 yards you know, when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Edwards now on first and ten. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second down and three. Throw left side complete. That's Flowers. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Scrimmage the 15. It's first and 10. Jackson running again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Play action. Now Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham from six yards away. And the Ravens. 
Bruins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. Kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Fielded just inside the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Ravens will take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time, let's keep doing it until they stop us? Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Derek Barnes in on the stop. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. On second down, here's Jackson. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Jackson, options out left. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. And 
And they run with Edwards off the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And that stop made by Jack Campbell. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Here's Edwards again on second down. Treads into the stiff arm. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game of 16. First and 10. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Flowers. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's second down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you, plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. And the Ravens are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Edwards will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. And Detroit back in possession of the football. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Gaw. Going deep for Montgomery. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fielded at the 33. 
It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Ravens offense back out there. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going to work for them. 53 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys, let's keep it going. And they run the option on second down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. And Jackson going to run again. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And out of bounds right around the 20. So eight yards on the completion there. And it'll be second in a couple. Now Jackson. Dumps it off to Edwards. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Underneath here to Hill. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They'll run here with Edwards. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Once more, Edwards. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you are two. here without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. Hill will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. 
Tucker now to add the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the end result was the touchdown run by Justice Hill. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Play action. It's gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Baltimore's offense starting another drive. It's Gus Edwards at running back. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot? Off the option, here's Edwards. And fights through one man to about the 48-yard line. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. Jackson, options out left. Breaks through the contact. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down.
Nothing left is Edwards. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That one 28 yards on the ground. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football. And right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone. And they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. Tucker now for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Stopped by the safety, Kyle Hamilton. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. From the gun, here's Goff. Going deep for Montgomery. And that would be incomplete. Scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. 
So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Uh, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then execute it. Now second and nine. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 92 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The Ravens on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Goff on first down. Finds Gibbs on a check down. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll make it second down. Now it's gone. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. He tried to find Jamison Williams, and it's third down. Here's Goff. sideline falls incomplete the passing game not in sync here early and now it's fourth down sometimes it's just not your day there's another failure right there on third down here's Jack Fox on to punt and a fair catch signal for and taken just outside the 20 yard line and Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, it wasn't much of a gain, but we're getting near the two-minute warning, so maybe they just want to get to that point, regroup, and decide what they want to do the rest of the half. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And got his man complete! And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. This offense is a 
looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Jackson now. Yet again, targeting and finding Mark Andrews. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Throwing is Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Here's Jackson. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and the Lions are going to get the football back at their own 17. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line the Raven offense set to start this third quarter well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them CD and now here's they begin their first series of the second half I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Now Jackson on second down. 
A looking deep here for Flowers. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. To throw is Jackson. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And that is exactly what you needed defensively. It's a long road back from here, but that's a good start to the second half as they force a punting situation and a fourth down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is fielded at the 27. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four possession deficit. And partner, you know, as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. On second down, Montgomery. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 15 yards for the Lions there at a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They'll go again with Gibbs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here is third and five. Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. On first and ten, golf. Finding Williams once more, complete. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 28-yard line. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Here's Goff. He's got right on the short throw. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Goff throwing again. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten.
They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. A shotgun snap for Goff. There's LaPorte out. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. The quick feet by Jackson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Jackson on first down. He finds his target, Beckham. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing there, but this pass is gonna wind up incomplete. He was looking for Rashad Bateman there, but it's gonna be second down. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it's 
going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 15 yard line. A good gain of 14 there and it moves the chains. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman, a 15-yard touchdown grab. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Another shot now for this Lions offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. They'll fake the give. Now golf. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Fielded at the 20. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but 
Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. 104 yards rushing for him now to this point. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. And from the 34, here's second and four. Jackson, options out left. Down the numbers, there he goes. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down at the 25-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands, and guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Jackson. He'll go underneath, dropping it off to Edwards. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 15-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, the Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? But my question is, will he be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? Second down and eight. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now it's Jackson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him any time he has open space. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. Here we go with Hill. They didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. No question. He's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. They'll look to run with Edwards. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked them back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. And Edwards trying to push forward, but unsuccessful. They stop him short of the marker. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. 
So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Time for another look at this Lions offense. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now a first down throw. Golf. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. Gee, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Gone. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The golf throw going into the hands of Williams. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. To the air again, Goff. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it, but fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more, and, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard.
Here's Edwards again on second down. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. He has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Previous play is under review. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Jackson. Keeps himself upright. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson can really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. On second down, it's Edwards. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. On third down, Jackson. Pressure applied taken down they sack him back at the 33 yard line flying in for that sack Aiden Hutchinson and in a flash Aiden Hutchinson gets into the backfield and puts the quarterback on the deck and he wasted no time embracing his role as the face of his hometown franchise as a rookie nine and a half sacks a surprising three interceptions and rookie of the year runner-up mentioned So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. Khalif Raymond now. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Meanwhile, Goss throw complete there to St. Brown. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. A ball under 32, it's second and two. From the gun, here's Goff. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. Third and two, Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big. And that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. A well, first down there on a pickup of 25. First down, Lions. Out of the gun, Goff. He's got it to Williams. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and three. They'll try the middle with Montgomery, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. seven on second and goal. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Mitchell. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Goff. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this 
this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Patterson's kick is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, we've reached... Well, we've reached the stage where it's a it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. <laughs> You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. Edwards now on first and 10. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 115 yards on the ground so far for Edwards. It's a first down. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 30-yard line, second and 12. They run off tackle right with Hill. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now Jackson. That is caught. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing and making a very nice play. They work now on second and nine. Charles, a lot of 